Hey everyone, it's the Village Mayor here, discovering places through photography. In this video, I'm going to take you to a college campus with a lot of historical significance. Humber College's Lakeshore East Campus is located at the former Lakeshore Psychiatric Hospital, originally known as the Mimico Asylum, near Long Branch at the foot of Kipling Avenue, where more than 10,000 students are enrolled today. Because it is an active college, parking is going to be at a premium here. So the best option is to either take transit or wait until the weekend when the parking is free. The college campus is great for architecture and nature and wildlife photography because it straddles next to the Colonel Samuel Smith Park, which I'll talk about in the next video. The tour starts off at the south parking lot next to the former powerhouse. The steam plant was completed in 1937 and once serviced the hospital. The building certainly has an industrial feel to it due to the smokestack, but also the repetition of windows in the back side of the building. Behind the steam plant is a gravel trail that parallels a small stream. The trail connects to a large sports field and the former hospital's cottages. This is a massive complex here, so walking along the perimeter to view all of the cottages takes time. If it is your first time visiting here like mine was, the temptation is to find a shortcut through the campus, but especially on weekends with the campus closed, you cannot enter the buildings. There are eight cottages in total and surround a large courtyard. The cottages are three stories in height and were built for patients of the former hospital and generally have a uniform design and roughly look the same from the outside, and each floor having massive windows. Each window is divided into small panes by wooden bars known as muntins, which reduced overall construction costs. Today, these cottages houses classrooms and specialty centers of excellence of the college. On the east side of the campus, and actually not part of the college, you will see a large sodded area and a large housing estate with similar colored brick. This building is known as the Cumberland House, which is named after Thomas Cumberland, the hospital's seventh superintendent, and was used as his home. Directly across from Cumberland House is Cottage G. What is interesting about this building isn't the repetition of windows that you see in other cottages, but rather an impressive stone arched entrance. As shown in this photo, many of the cottages have simple wooden covered porches, but this cottage actually has an impressive entrance. Walk in on the north side of the former hospital and you will come across a surprise, a haunting overly sized artwork. The sculpture brings attention to racial biases and stereotypes towards black men in society. It is a very powerful image and the way that the sculpture is designed is almost lifelike. And it is also an example of education through art. Entering the central courtyard via the L building, which is the newest building in the complex, you will see a very nicely designed space with landscaping and art throughout. From this perspective, you can see the main entrances of all the cottages here. Near the middle of this courtyard are small sitting areas with a bronze shelter and small bronze monoliths, which are meant to identify areas of migration used by the indigenous peoples. In fact, throughout the college, you will see evidence of indigenous markers everywhere, a celebration and also a reminder of who settled here for thousands of years. There are numerous interesting architectural highlights within the courtyard, such as these four smokestacks. I'm not sure if they're part of the original hospital or if they're new construction, but it is still interesting enough to take a photo or two. However, building L, also called the Lakeshore Commons, is definitely new. From a design perspective, it is different in style, but it doesn't offend. New buildings should not imitate or mock heritage buildings because it just becomes gaudy. What I also love about the college is it does not forget about the past. There are interpretive signs throughout that educate passersby on the hospital and how patients were medically treated, and also signs about the restoration efforts of the hospital buildings into a college. 
and how they restore the cottages include massive metal stairs that are used for emergency situations. You will find a lot of these massive metal fire stairs in almost every single heritage building here. These metal cage-like structures are what allows the college to maintain the heritage buildings intact while meeting building and fire code. Well, that wraps up this video of Humber College's Lakeshore Campus. I really highly recommend you to visit here on a self-tour. Thank you for watching and I will see you again soon.